I have a friend who never votes. Instead, he votes with his dollars. He buys green, local, fair trade, whatever, you name it. He buys them all. He's changing the world while shopping. And to be honest, for quite a while, I thought that's a brilliant idea. But I was wrong. Yes, you heard me right. If you compare green and non-green shoppers and voters, you will see that there is barely any difference in their ecological footprints. What? Why? Well, firstly, because of the big problem. I like this name, sums it up nicely. This is short for behavior impact gap. That's when we think we're changing the world with our small actions, while in fact we're just doing small actions. Like recycling on this graph, we think the impact is huge, while actually not so much. Second problem is that we're often acting eco-friendly in one way, but completely ignore some other problems. Like for instance, we eat strictly vegetarian, which is great for the planet, but then we take a plane when we go for vacation, which is one of the worst things we can do. Third problem is that whether we are environmentally aware green dot or environmentally completely unconcerned brown dot, we are all consumers. And it is the act of buying in itself that has the biggest impact. Buying brown or green doesn't make much of a difference. Unfortunately, we cannot afford not to consume. We live in a capitalist system and the consumption is the backbone of Western countries' economies. So we are constantly pushed into buying wherever we look. Companies and entrepreneurs are coming up with ideas and products that we never even knew we need, but we definitely need to buy right now. While it's true that we can choose which companies we want to support and which ingredients we want to avoid, it's also true that we are in general doing too little, too late. But wait, don't get desperate yet. There is an actual way to change the world much faster and better than just by voting with our dollars. Because there's quite a lot of dollars voting there, but not so much change happening, right? How much money, you ask? Globally, we spend around $9 billion a year just on green cleaning products. This money could be better invested. If we would give this money to politicians, associations and NGOs who are fighting to ban toxic chemicals we're trying to avoid by buying green, we might not even have to look at the ingredients list anymore. Instead of buying fair trade clothes, we could donate this money to organizations who are fighting against workers' exploitation. This way the fair trade becomes the norm. Instead of buying $200 air filter, we could give this money to NGOs who are trying to keep our air clean. Instead of spending one hour looking for organic, local and cruelty-free soap trying to avoid one certain chemical, I could work. And then give that money to eco-friendly lobbies who are pressuring the government to ban that certain chemical I'm trying to avoid, plus thousands of other ones. So buying only fair trade shirts, organic shampoo or locally grown veggies is not enough to change the world. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying to stop buying healthy products and eco-friendly stuff, because our health matters as well. But I am saying that buying green products alone is not enough to change the world. And voting with our dollars doesn't replace the actual voting. By the time everybody boycotts Monsanto on their own, biodiversity will be a long forgotten fantasy. While big lifestyle changes such as saying farewell to red meat or eating strictly vegetarian one day a week, having less or no children, or using exclusively the public transportation do have a big impact, going for a soap without palm oil will not do much on its own. So if you want to be green because you're worried about the planet and your income is limited, it's better to consider donating your money or your time to organizations, associations or politicians who are fighting for the changes you want to see in the world. Because while changing the minds of individuals is great, it's also very slow. But if the system changes even slightly, we all have to adapt in some way. And the greener the change, the better it is. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Now tell me in the comments, do you give money to any organization? If you do, tell me which ones and why, because I really would like to find out some new ones. Like this video and share it with your friends so more people can learn about this information and subscribe to this channel to not miss our next video. See you then. Bye bye.